So there is a reason why we were standing in front of Pier 76 on the West Side Highway. This is going to be the site of the opening night of the Tribeca Film Festival. The site is currently under construction right now, but they are transforming it into this star-studded event where it's going to kick off the Tribeca Film Festival. Plus, the festival is going to continue throughout the five boroughs, really giving everyone an opportunity to be a part of this monumental event as the city continues to move in a reopening process. Whether you're from the Heights or the heart of Manhattan, the Tribeca Film Festival is back and you're invited. Tribeca is now helping New York rejuvenate post-COVID. The festival originated after 9-11. In 2021, the beloved event is being transformed as the city that never sleeps wakes up from a long pandemic. It's that emotion, it's that spirit. And that's what we're getting back. The Diverse Fest will feature work from artists around the world, including Lin-Manuel Miranda and his anticipated film In the Heights. Prior to COVID-19, New Yorkers could try to snag a ticket to a screening. This year, beginning next month, the festival is traveling to community parks around the five boroughs, including Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx and Astoria Park in Queens. The Borough to Borough programs will allow residents to connect to the festival experience in their own backyards through traveling 40-foot state-of-the-art LED cinemas, the first mobile HD screens in the country. We're thrilled to be able to bring the Tribeca Film Festival to all five boroughs as a tribute to storytelling and cultural rich richness of every part of New York. Jane Rosenthal is the co-founder of the Tribeca Film Festival. She helped launch the event with Robert De Niro. The energy from the first event helped rev up the revitalization of the city in the wake of the World Trade Center attacks. It's only fitting this year's event will close at the iconic Radio City Music Hall, where the doors will reopen at 100% capacity to vaccinated residents for the first time since the lockdown, bringing hope during difficult times. This beautiful hall will be filled once again with what I am sure is going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal evening. And Governor Cuomo stressed the maskless event at Radio City Music Hall will be open only again if to people who are vaccinated. So that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to get a ticket to this year's festival. The festival will kick off on June 9th and will continue until June 19th. We're live on the West Side. Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News.